Monitors are an integral part of any computer setup and can be what dictates the quality of your high-end rig. In these times, you've got your monitors that vary in price, size, and even refresh rate, all of which can either give you the best bang for your buck or basically be an overpriced bit of tech. For those that have plenty of disposable income though, you might be tempted to buy the highest end monitor that you can get on any given day. Something really out there though that you should be looking for if you got the money is the 360 hertz monitors, which can be a great buy if you got the money to spend. But is something like that really worth that amount of money if you got to throw it down? Well, today on Top Tier Tech, we're gonna be answering if a 360 hertz monitor is actually worth it or if the normal 120 hertz would even pass for today's modern gaming tech. The world of technology can be daunting to newcomers and very expensive for anyone that's deep in the realm of cutting edge tech. On average, a 360 hertz monitor would run you about $500 if you wanted to grab one now. Now, granted, that's well above what any ordinary monitor costs, but it does offer a viewing experience that can be beneficial depending on what sort of work you're dealing with. You need to consider what kind of work you're gonna be really doing on your computer. I mean, are you gonna be doing the requirements that high fresh rate monitors can only afford you? Because if you're working in an office or maybe editing videos all day, then maybe you don't need something as crazy with that high of a refresh. Rate. The fact of the matter is that most ordinary people are going to get by just fine on monitors that have a lower refresh rate, starting at 60 hertz and petering out at about 144 hertz. Now, that doesn't mean that you shouldn't spend any money at all on a high end refresh rate monitor as an ordinary consumer, but it doesn't mean that you don't have to go so hard. High refresh rates are king in only one world, and that is gaming. If you're gonna be playing video games in a professional capacity, then maybe you should start looking at high refresh rate monitors. For casual gamers, on the other hand, you probably wanna shoot for at least 144 hertz for a smooth gaming experience, as the overhead on most games is around 60 FPS that your eyes will register and look incredibly nice. Remember, the human eye is limited, so don't think that you're gonna be needing every single frame that your monitor will be pumping out to look amazing. With that being said, it is nice to ensure that things could be extra smooth with just some generous overhead from the monitor's refresh rate. Games like shooters and fighting games will benefit heavily from monitors which have a high refresh rate. They're especially perfect for literally anyone who's wanting to get into competitive gaming. If you're looking to become the next eSports star, you're definitely going to want the least amount of input lag possible while on your current gaming session. Just imagine that you're playing something like Dragon Ball Fighter Z or Guilty Gear Strive and consistently are missing opportunities to help improve your game due to the fact that you have technical limitations. You're not going to be able to grab that W if your opponent is able to catch your mix-ups due to your own high input lag. If your computer isn't at a minimum of 144 hertz, you're hampering your own abilities as a gamer. And quite frankly, 60 hertz just isn't enough to capture every single frame of gameplay these days, as what games could potentially run faster or ended up being hamstrung by the constraints of lower hertz monitors. When comparing the two types of monitors, it's obvious that anything lower than 144 FPS is prone to input lag that can usually be several milliseconds long. A millisecond might not seem like a huge deal to many, but when you need every single second pressed button to activate at the right time, something like even 7 milliseconds can mean the difference between victory and defeat. 144 hertz monitors are usually capable of response times of 1 millisecond, which is pretty much the standard for any monitor worth their salt. If you are going to buy a monitor, there is a pretty good chance that it's going to be advertised as such, and anything faster than that is basically going to be regulated to something like a professional grade CRT monitor. Monitor. You probably won't be able to get your hands on one of those easily or cheaply anyway, as they're pretty much a dying breed by this point and are really only bought by retro gaming enthusiasts. Though they're still pretty nice to consider if you do want a pure retro gaming experience. Just be plenty for really a lot of reality checks and actual checks that you'll have to write. By the way, if you're enjoying these videos, then consider dropping a like and subscribe to the channel for more of the finest tech videos around. And also, don't forget to hit that notification bell as well. So, with all that being said, where does that leave the 
the 360 hertz monitors. Well, they're definitely nice. I mean, don't get me wrong. 360 hertz is plenty of overhead for any game that requires high refresh rates. So many games will look absolutely smooth on such a monitor. However, the reality is that you're not going to see much of a difference between this and a 144 hertz monitor. While all that overhead will ensure that maybe in your most demanding games will be smooth, it won't be that massive of a leap whenever you compare it to its slightly smaller brethren. Going further than 144 hertz is only gonna be noticeable to the most seasoned of tech fans. You'll definitely have the advantage while playing competitive games, but you already achieve that with monitors that not only look just as good as the 360 hertz monitors, but are really just more affordable. Take an example like this. The Asus ROG Swift 360 hertz gaming monitor is 484 bucks on Amazon, and it offers all the features that you could ever want on a gaming monitor. It looks great, has low lag, and reduced screen tearing due to the fact that it has included NVIDIA G-Sync technology. On top of all that, it then boasts a quote what is called tear-free gaming at refresh rates of 360 hertz, along with a response time of one millisecond. Now look, that sounds all fine and dandy on paper, but that price tag, eh, I'm not so sure about. Considering that only the truly and most highly dedicated of fans would be interested in shelling out some high-end cash like that. In comparison, something like Dell's own 27-inch curved gaming monitor is about $300 at full price and offers a full 144 Hz refresh rate with that very same one millisecond response time. Heck, they might even seem very similar in terms and features, along with their own quality, but the price tag ultimately is the deciding factor here. While owning something that displays at 360 hertz is nice, that kind of power is not for everyone and is only something to consider if you're gonna have a professional career in gaming. In the future, 360 hertz monitors will probably become much more affordable as they are still a fairly new addition to the world of PC gaming. The Asus ROG Swift 360 gaming monitor was really the first of its kind, and it's only two years old at this point. Given that the price tag for such monitors is fairly high-end, the general consumer is not going to be able to spend that much money to have such an awesome gaming experience. If you have the cash to shell out, then that's great. There's nothing wrong with buying one of those bad boys, as they'll do plenty of heavy lifting and are a good way to future-proof your setup for upgrades on your rig. And for those that are not in the gaming department per se, but work maybe more with video editing and animation, a 144Hz refresh rate monitor will absolutely be a great bump up in getting your playback to look that much smoother, which again, isn't to say that a 360 hertz refresh rate wouldn't be an amazing upgrade on its own, but you're still going back to the same point that the overall quality of the video isn't going to be playing back any faster or smoother than what you would get on a traditional 144 hertz monitor anyhow, unless somehow you're a pro in the editing and animation departments and you might notice such things of that nature, but still, that's a fringe minority in and of itself. If you're ready to take that leap to a 360 hertz monitor, you can always consider going to a step below that at 240 hertz. However, we'll leave that video for a later date. So what do you think about the 360 hertz monitors? Do you think you want to buy one? And are there any monitors that you would like us to cover specifically within the 360 hertz range in a later video down the road? Let us know in your comment section down below. And this has been Top Tier Tech. Until next time, folks, stay safe and stay informed.